Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn how to prepare a dynamic map into the Microsoft Excel. If you want to prepare a map, it is not necessary that you have to have some JS based software. A simple Microsoft Excel with the latest version of 365, you can prepare a dynamic map like this. So whenever you click on any specific country, it will zoom into your specific area and will represent the data set. So let's see how to do that. So here in this sheet, we have a raw data set in which one column represents the country and another column we have representative of the states, then some data set. It can be a population data set, economy data set or any other thing. So in this particular case, I'm just taking a random variables. So instead of state, you can take a country, you can take the continent, etc. So for that purpose, so first of all, you have to clean the data set and arrange it in this manner. Second thing you can do is the click on insert and click on table. And please make sure that it will select entire of your data set. That means from column number A1 to column number C178. That means the last cell. After just that, just click OK. So now this raw data has been converted into the table. Now what you have to do, just select these two columns which one cell should represent the state or country name and second column should select the value and please make sure that you have a correct spelling of the state or the country name so that it can be mapped in the excel just go to the insert and click on this maps and click on field map so now you can see that a map has been created in which uh, only the states and country which is available the data is available can be seen in the colored manner you can change the projection system uh, etc just by right clicking over this map panel and click on format plot axis uh, no not axis but the format area just click format data series and here the first option is the map projection click as it is automatic map area automatic and map label will be none and you can change the color tone also for example presently it is displaying sequential two color you can add the third color and you can change the color here also and if you want to increase or decrease the minimum maximum value you can do that also so next thing what we can do is just cut this map uh, right click over this cut and paste it into a new sheet just control V as you can see now map has been displayed in this new sheet and if you go to the data tool and uh, that means your previous sheet just go to the insert and click on this slicer and select the country so that you can select country one by one uh, just click OK and this is the slicer just click and cut and paste it over here you can adjust the size of this slicer so now if you click Australia it will automatically zoom to the Australia and your data will be shown specifically for Australian state if you click on China France, Germany, India, South Africa. As you can see that uh, two of these states of South Africa doesn't showing any color, doesn't showing any data set because it might be possibility that our data series doesn't have the data set of this particular state or province. So you can actually manually set up those data set then USA. And if you want to display uh, for more than one state, so what you can do, just click on suppose India and plus control China so that you can see the data set of India and China specifically we want to see for France and German you can see for only France and German but if you want to see for more than that just click cross and the data set for whole world will be visible so suppose if you want to display the graphical analysis also for example if I want to see that uh, uh, if uh, like in India state which state has the maximum values and which state has the minimum value so if you go to the data and uh, just click on this sort and filter clear all the filter and just 
sort this data either ascending or descending order so just click on this drop down menu and click smallest to largest and uh, and go to insert click on this column 2d column so now you can see a chart or displaying over here in which y x axis is the state name and y axis is the uh, values but you don't want to display the country name so either you can just drag it over here or you can simply go to the select data set and you can see in the data range it is a1 from a1 so instead of a just delete a and write b so that it will select only b and c column click ok so now you can see in the x axis there is only the state name and in the y axis is the value just right click cut and paste it over here control v so now if you click uh, now it is showing the state of all these countries if you click in a specific country so now you can see in the map that these are that these states with some highest uh, higher value like rajasthan and uh, tamil nadu and uh, Chhattisgarh but with this graph you can get more enormous information like for example Delhi has the maximum value then second number is uh, Tamil Nadu then Delhi and etc you can choose some other country also like US so here the state of the US only are representing Australia China so this is only specific uh, for a uh, dummy data set you can create other a type of data set like sales population etc and can prepare your map like this and it will work only on the latest office version that is office 365 so hope you like the video if yes then please hit the like button share this video with your colleagues and friends and subscribe to the channel thank you